Good morning, everybody. Uh, so I'm Jean-Luc Brunard. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm French, so sorry, I apologize for the accent. But on top of that, I spent uh, six years in uh, Texas, so <laughs> I'm very confused about that. So. Okay, so I'm going to talk a bit uh, at technique first, uh, explain you what we do to understand the context of uh, what we do and uh, also uh, how we handled uh, this project, MDM uh, multi-domain, and uh, the benefits that we can see already. So about TechNIP, uh, we are uh, an engineering company uh, working mainly for uh, oil and gas, and we do about everything which is on this picture. So uh, we build uh, raffineries, gas plants, uh, we have vessels to lay uh, pipelines, we are building um, platforms for deep water mainly and uh, now we are uh, moving uh, to uh, offshore uh, windmills and uh, other more uh, green business I would say. So we have 23,000 people in the world according to uh, the police uh, according to the MDM and now we have uh, more than 25,000 and uh, that's uh, one of the challenges to know how many people we have on board. Uh, we are working everywhere uh, there is oil in the world and uh, projects and uh, we are based in uh, 48 countries. Uh, we have a fleet of 20 vessels. We are doing about uh, 10 billion of dollars of revenue per year. So we have three uh, business domain segments and uh, the first one is subsea so it's everything to connect the offshore platform to the seabed for uh, oil and gas. Uh, we are building also offshore platforms and uh, we are also uh, building uh, raffineries or uh, gas plant and uh, these projects could be huge. Uh, for a non-shore project for instance could be uh, five to six billion dollars and it's uh, three years projects usually. So all that is are creating uh, quite a lot of challenge in terms of engineering, obviously, and communication and exchange of data. Uh, I will come back on that later. So as you see, we are a bit everywhere. Uh, we have an office in uh, Claremont, right uh, next door, and uh, an office in uh, Houston, but the headquarters are in France, but uh, we work about everywhere in the world, as I said. So uh, about the MDM, uh, in fact, it's part of the IT plan. Uh, it's led by IT but uh, very, very close to the business and uh, IT is uh, uh, managed by the CFO, is under the CFO uh, responsibility and uh, it has been identified as critical for the business. Uh, as I said, we have big projects, uh, complex projects uh, and we have very few projects where we work with only one site. Most of the time, a part of the engineering is based in uh, one country. We have vessels uh, based uh, in UK. Uh, we have uh, the head office uh, involved as well. And uh, we have projects where we have up to uh, 15 companies involved, plus uh, the partners. So uh, for engineering data, it's a big challenge. Today, we are not trying to address it with VMDM. We focus more on the uh, corporate support function, so finance, HR, and uh, or the discipline at corporate, but for sure, the next step will be to integrate more with engineering. We have a fair, reasonable budget, but uh, as we are contractors and not oil owners, unfortunately, we don't have as money as uh, we would like to spend, but we manage it. Uh, so, uh, the, the, the big drivers for this initiative, in fact, are, uh, are uh, led from uh, the company growth, in fact, the company uh, uh, grew up very quickly, and uh, we have a lot of companies around the world, so it's a bit of a patchwork of uh, small companies, and obviously we, ha we have to make it much more industrialized. Uh, we have operating centers, as I said, uh, working on multi-projects, uh, and we have a lot of exchange between uh, the various entities and a lot of intercos between the manufacturing entities, the vessels, and the engineering centers. Uh, so we, we launched uh, some uh, transformation at company level and uh, we launched two main ERP projects. Uh, today we are working mainly with uh, e-business suite but 
we are uh, implementing another product now, which is IFS, which is a, a kind of uh, small package, but very well uh, fitting our business for uh, project follow-up. And uh, uh, also, we are taking the opportunity to have more centralized application, and therefore, uh, implementing a shared, shared services organization. And that is not only for IT, but also finance is looking at it, and HR as well. Uh, so our business objectives really are uh, to improve uh, the operations and to improve the quality of reporting, uh, speed, be able to speed up the, 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 the reporting, to improve uh, the way we do things by uh, automation, because we have too many uh, uh, handcraft process today, and to improve also the way we collaborate on projects. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the main uh, objectives. And uh, to do that, obviously, we need to align the data, we need to align uh, all our systems and be able to share more easily uh, our, uh, our uh, system, uh, our data, sorry. So uh, the answer that we proposed to the management uh, was to build a kind of uh, big data warehouse and uh, BI tools but obviously, uh, to make it uh, successful, uh, we took the opportunity to build uh, an MDM to make sure uh, that we have a good quality of data in our uh, data warehouse and that we can exchange data easily between applications. So, um, uh, obviously, there were several bricks in this project, the DNA project, so uh, master data, uh, BI, but also uh, we took the opportunity to implement VMDM, uh, Bistalk as a, an, um, a platform to, to a hub to, to exchange data, and also, obviously, to put the governance going with it, which was uh, quite new in the company. In fact, before, we had nothing uh, like that. So, as we did not know really how we will handle these projects, uh, we, we, we thought that it would be good to have a, an agile project approach to make sure that uh, we can move where people are willing to move and uh, make progress you know, uh, as much as we can, showing to the people what we do to make them understand the benefit of VMDM. And uh, for that, we, we launched a fast track project and we start about a, a year ago now. Uh, we did a, a scoping to understand the, the business requirement. Then uh, we defined the governance uh, we select a tool, we build a prototype, uh, a kind of uh, proof of concept, but a working uh, proof of concept. And then uh, we did a lot of workshops with the business to define uh, the strategy, to define how, uh, which master data we want to track, which attributes we want to, 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 put, to attach to these uh, objects, and uh, how to, uh, to implement. And uh, now we are uh, almost at uh, the final stage of building the data model in VMDM. Uh, it's live already, it's working already for some master data. And uh, we are mainly now connecting VMDM to, uh, to the application. Uh, 